The first thing to do before using the ball bar is to install the software. But before you do, let's quickly review the minimum PC specifications required for a successful installation. Pretty much any notebook PC running Windows XP, Service Pack 2 or Service Pack 3, Windows Vista or Windows 7 should be okay, so long as it has at least one gigabyte free space on the hard disk and either a built-in Bluetooth capability or an available USB port into which you can plug a Bluetooth dongle. The Bulbar 20 software CD-ROM can be found inside the case lid. The Bulbar 20 installation program should start automatically when the CD is inserted into the drive. If it does not, open My Computer, double click on the CD-ROM drive icon and then double click the Setup EXE file. Follow the on-screen prompts to install the software. You'll need to click Yes to accept the license agreement then choose either Complete to install the software using all the default values and file paths or select Custom if you have a specific location where you would like your test files and templates to be stored. If you have an earlier version of Bulbar software installed, you may also be prompted to upgrade your existing installation. We are going to choose the Complete installation option. At the end of the installation process, you will be prompted to restart your PC. After the restart, your Bulbar software is ready to use but there is one extra step that you may like to do to make life just that little bit easier when you start testing machines. Create a Bulbar program group on the PC's desktop. To do this, click on Start, All Programs, and at the bottom of the list of installed programs, you should see the Renishaw Bulbar 20 group. Right-click on this group and drag it to your desktop. When you release the right mouse button, select Copy from the pop-up menu and you're done. Access to all Bulbar functions can now be made directly from the desktop without having to scroll through all of your other programs.